Hello everyone, my name is Danny, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about the Auratone speaker. And I want to talk to you basically about how it's affected my mixes and how I think it's improved them. So as you can see here, I have a lot of uh, different speakers. I have the Yamaha HS8s, the Yamaha NS10s, and then there's the Auratone speaker. And what I've noticed specifically about this Auratone speaker is that it cuts off a lot of the low end and it cuts off a lot of the high end. So you might think, okay, well, why is that a good thing? Why would I want my speakers to have no low end or no high end? The reason why is because it forces you to focus on the most important parts of the mix, which is essentially the mid range, maybe around uh, 1K to 3K. That's where the vocal is going to be. That's where basically like a lot of uh, the melodic content in your mix is going to be like the guitars or piano. And uh, a lot of times the issue that I was having is that my mixes sounded really dull. They sounded really almost dead. I would mix on my big speakers and then I would play them in like a car. And I noticed that things would just sound lifeless, like it for some reason i couldn't I, I would get things to sound good on my big speakers but it just wouldn't translate to other systems so what i learned while using this Aratone speaker is that the reason why my mixes were sounding dull is because i wasn't balancing the mid range enough there wasn't enough high mids uh within within uh, my mixes or within my masters so that's what this really, really helps with. It's almost like a magnifying glass. And another thing that I noticed is that, you know, these really, really big Yamaha speakers, the Yamaha HS8s, it's almost like they sound too good. It's really easy to get things to sound good on Yamaha HS8s because they're full mid-range speakers. When you add a kick, you hear all the low end in the kick. What you have to keep in mind when you're mixing and when you're mastering is that a lot of times that low sub end isn't going to register on a lot of different platforms. And that basically includes iPhones. Uh, it basically includes like little Alexa speakers, little Bluetooth speakers, and even in a lot of like car stereo systems, uh, you're not really going to get a lot of that really low deep low end so that's why this speaker i think is honestly so helpful um one con that i did notice about using it is that a lot of times i feel like mixing in this speaker has caused me to exaggerate the high end uh but the good thing is that it's really easy for me to like switch to the hs8s and basically kind of like adjust that a lot of times, you know, I'll, I'll back off on the high end again, but that's basically pretty much it. That's the only real con that I found from using the speaker. Uh, I think that if you're an audio engineer, um, you should probably look into getting one of these little boxes. And I think one thing that really makes them so uh, useful is that the fact that you could carry them to... Uh, it, they, they translate well to other rooms. So basically, they're, it's a really tiny speaker. So because it's so small, you're not getting a lot of the room sound and a lot of the noise. Like, for example, in the HS8s that I have, uh, you get a lot of, like, the room because they're so loud and they have, like, a lot of subs. And it could sort of uh, color your 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 balance and it could cause you to make certain mix changes that you wouldn't necessarily make within you know this little speaker but yeah uh, ever since using it i think that i've had a lot better of an experience getting it to translate well onto other uh platforms like uh like little speakers little bluetooth speakers and in the car so that's just my experience. Let me know what you guys think. What has your experience been? Um, if you guys have uh, these Aratone speakers. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Have a good day, guys.